Hi guys, Assalamualaikum, apa khabar semua? Um, yes, first of all, I just want to say thank you uh, for all the great comments, all the feedbacks given, especially members from the Facebook um, Malaysian Quarantine Group Support. Because of them, I am able to make that journey because I get all the information from them uh, through the Facebook page. Uh, about the um, conditions, changes, updates of the uh, government MCO in Malaysia. Uh, so for those who do not know, you can actually watch my uh, YouTube video which is um, posted two days ago. It's a journey from London to Kuala Lumpur. How's was the journey like uh, just covering all the sorts during the travel pandemic. Now, today the video is all about uh, a request for someone um, and I think it's good to share as well about self quarantine for those Malaysians overseas coming back or any travelers who wish to come back on whatever terms um, I've chosen to stay at the Airbnb Commune Living so Commune Living is actually an apartment hotel service apartment it's like hotel but it's a service apartment one why I choose cost it's way much cheaper uh, I would say it's 40% cheaper than staying in a hotel on the 14 nights quarantine. Uh, so, I'll tell you what positive cost is cheaper, two spacious service apartments. So, if you're traveling as a group, family, um, couple, you stay in a 14 nights quarantine, you are going to be indoor most of the time, you're going to be needing some space in between. So rather than staying in normal hotel standard rooms, you've got these options, two bedroom. You've got the kitchen, well some, this particular apartment, have a pantry, a kitchen on level one, so you can't really use it. But the flexibility is, so rather than you eating full board meals from the hotel, like I'm not judging which hotel it's going to be, but I did see a couple of um, pencil boxes was same, was same, it's almost the same. So, and plus, having to stay in a service apartment like this, you could order food to grab food service. Or you could have your friends or family drop the food to you right at your doorstep. Yes, you can do that. Uh, so one thing is on this food delivery. One, if you order grab food, um, the grab driver is going to be reporting at the concierge for the duty. Uh, to say they um, drop off the um, food service, you will have the person to come down, take a lift without anyone, without facing anyone, and then collect the food and put it go up there. And once you've done that, you will have to call housekeeper to sanitize. I mean, this is what they advise me, but you should not be technically. You should be right in the room all the time. So thankfully, I'm staying, and I got a friend um, around the area. So he was delivering the food to me uh, on a daily basis. So basically, um, he will have to come. He could either park at the car park, which is free of charge for the guests, and then they will go and report to duty manager, and the duty manager will escort him up to the level that you're staying and drop off right at your doorsteps. And that's it. No staying, no more contacts. Done. Um, so that's a good side of it. And one thing I can add, the services they have in the um, apartment, internet service, really good Wi-Fi connection to compare all the hotels that have stayed in KL. Um, so the internet connections only allow three devices. So pro and con there. Um, they provide free parking, in-house interactive TV, and pantry in the fridge. 
and most of it is just right outside. All, all this information you can get that from the website directly or the Airbnb channel. No microwave though, microwave is downstairs. So if you want to have food, take away, you want to warm it up, no. But I'm sure you know what to do. Malaysia is easy to get uh, food delivery, so that's an option for you. Now, uh, you must bring cleaning essentials. Um, they don't actually have detergents or soaps on the pantry, so you're gonna wash plates and everything. There's nothing. Uh, the reason why, because technically they're supposed to have housekeeping service, but because you're in quarantine, you're not allowed any cleaning service. Then you were asking how to book. You could book from Google.com, you can book directly, so you can contact, or you could book through Airbnb. Technically, the person who would know out is also the one managed Airbnb on the long stay package. So that's your tips. And um, now, one thing uh, probably to mention that the Airbnb cancellation policy is quite strict. I think it was one month um, so you need to think about this because uh, you, you could try to negotiate with them um, but they're quite strict with the cancellation policy so if ever you are tested positive and you have to be sent to hospital directly you will lose your stay booking uh, but I took a chance because I think it should be fine you know anyway and plus the cost is not much compared to staying in a hotel most of the hotels you'll be choosing is going to be um, bound to cancellation policy at least about 14 hours except um, hotels that are selected for quarantine during the MCO and now I hope that's helped thank you for watching guys